Swim jig, you're almost gonna fish like a spinnerbait. Almost a, a streamlined style pointy head, what that fish is eating and what you should use for bait. It's a great story, you know. Uh, kind of snapping my rod tip to get that bait moving and hopping. Probably under-recognized for its effectiveness is that uh, it is swimming a jig. Yeah. When you think about jigs, you know, it, it's most people think about fishing a jig slow and low on the bottom. You know, they think about barely moving it, or they think about a football head jig. But but a, sw a swim jig is is a good jig, and you know, essentially a swim jig is going to be a little bit lighter. It's going to have a little bit more of a thinned out weed guard. It's going to have a head that can get through cover and get through grass. So almost a, a streamlined style pointy head. The one that we have from Berkeley, this new Berkeley swim jig's got an integrated line tie, so the line tie's built into the head so it won't get snagged. And then one of the most critical pieces of equipment is the trailer, you know, a trailer that has a bunch of action. Um, so this is, this is actually a new bait by Havoc called a devil spear. It's got a segmented tail, and when you reel that thing through the water, it just flaps the whole time. But you know, if you talk about imitating forage, swim jig's perfect for it, you know? And, and we're, we're here at a place that's got a lot of shad. And you know, when I'm around shad or around herring or owlwife, I go with that white color, you know, whites and pearls. A lot of places have bluegill. I'll take a swim jig, I'll use a green pumpkin, blue, uh, green pumpkin color, watermelon, imitate that bluegill. Places have perch, I use a fire tiger. So I really try to mimic the color to the forage. But this thing is fished a lot different than a regular jig. So let's make a cast and let's watch how we reel this thing. So traditional jig, you know, you're flipping it, you're gonna flip near the cover, you're gonna let it sink, and you're gonna work the bait. Not with a swim jig. Swim jig, you're almost gonna fish like a spinner bait. So you're gonna cast that thing out past your target, and you're actually gonna reel it the whole way back. And as I reel it, I put in rod snaps. I'm actually kind of snapping my rod tip to get that bait moving and hopping. And, and it, the other nice thing about this bait is because it's so streamlined, this thing will skip like you wouldn't believe. So you could, you know, you could use this bait for skipping under overhangs, for skipping under docks. I guarantee you, man, this is something that, that is not talked about for a reason because it's an awesome fish catcher when fish get under and around cover. Jig, you're almost going to fish like a spinnerbait. Almost a, a streamlined style pointy head. What that fish is eating and what you should use for bait. It's a great story, you know. Uh, kind of snapping my rod tip to get that bait moving and hot. We're putting it on the back of swim jigs. Catch giant like that, baby. <laughs>